All right, what's up, guys? Yeah, on TV, let's talk about my master bus processing analogo gear I have, okay? But mostly, let's focus, because I was talking about this in the video when I was uh, review the Fusion and uh, NIP, the 542s, you know, the Tate emulators for Rupert NIP. Yep. But let's put more attention on the insert and pre Q mode on the SSL Fusion. Why? Because I know there is, there is like a videos in YouTube here or there talking about like, a, oh, the SSL Fusion is still relevant in the 2024. And yeah, yeah, it's still relevant. And then you will see why, okay? I know uh, Rupert Neve have this, like a, mm, sorry. I got something in my mouth, my, sorry, my butt. <laughs> so, uh, uh, well, so uh, I know um, Rupert Neve have this master bus uh, processor, which is kind of similar of the future. And also they release a new piece of gear, it's something with saturator. So it's the mix of, so uh, the thing I remember is a mix of the, for example, the silk, red and blue. So you got it now in, in the pen and so you can use those two colors on the same time. We're going to talk deeply about that function. Uh, here I have it, but only for one. So I can use it one or the other one, not both on the same time as the, the new piece of gear they, they have now. And of course it's super expensive, okay? But, uh, Let's talk about this, and then let's talk about why I, me personally speaking, why I still thinking this piece of gear, the future is still relevant, and also for your pocket too, because this is, if you compare numbers, this is way more cheaper, and it sounds good too. Okay, so yeah, let's go to Protoss. All right, so we are here in front of the station. On today, Ben, let's go back to Night Hand, it's one of, it's one of my favorites, I mean. This is a song from the first album we did together. Okay, I just record the album. This is the session I always, yeah, pretty much I always use for show you the plugins and also how it sounds. By the way, as you see, this is road tracks with set for the, here, there, I have uh, the SSL 4000, channel straight on the kick and also snare to give, to give a little more of, you know, attack and clarity in the kick snare, always talking. I have then the front mic, I have this pulsar smasher to get more compression, same as the, the wall mic, you know, what else have, I have the, I don't know why I have this, probably I was playing with that when I just bought this plugin, by the way, I have a bit about this, this guy, this plugin is amazing, so go to my channel and, and also check it out, what else I have, I have a, Parallel compression using the what is this one? Well, oh, the parallel aggression for maybe a gray, gray plugin. By the way, okay, I have a bit about this too. Yeah, I also have here there some plugins, but nothing crazy. The plugins I keep from the last video, to go oh, just plugins, is the NIP 1084 for Universal Audio. Okay. So I will keep that that guy there. The rest I have rivers here, there. So nothing crazy. So let's see. With this few EQs and compressor move here, there. Let's see how it sound on the master bus, of course. How the the mix of the fusion, my TK audio, you know, and also the NIF 42s in combination. And also we 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 gonna talk about the uh, the answer, because I didn't talk about that when I reviewed this, this Fusion, okay? In the video I had, of course. And also we talk about the pre -Q, and also we talk about the, the, the mid-side mode, okay? So I want to show you which are the difference and why this one is so versatile and pretty cool for mixes and also for, and also for mastering, okay? So let's see. Um, Give me one second, let me check where I am in, in the session. Now I'm going to show you this in a few seconds. All right, so I found a song I want to show you today. But before continuing, please don't forget to subscribe, to give me a like, to share this, to comment, because this channel is not monetized yet. And the only way to get that kind of 
you know, level goal in a YouTube universe is for you guys, you know, if you subscribe and also watch the videos, comment, pull that, you will help me with the algorithm, you know. But also I want to say a, spe a special sh shout out to <laughs> the CEO Magazine because today, finally I have the, the copy, this is the February issue for 2024, February, you know, or February 2024. And why I have this one and why this is special shout out? Because here, my name my name appears on the magazine, okay? Probably you can't see the right, probably you can, but I will share a picture, you know, in the screen if you can see it. So, I'm very happy because like I said, in the short I have in the in my channel, like uh, you know, even in my most weird dreams, I will see my name appearing in these kind of magazines. You know, <laughs> yeah, this is for because of uh, Persistent Vision Records, which is the company who released the cassette we did with Vigil together. They mentioned me as like I uh, I recorded, you know, which is true. <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. And also, I about to my good friends of municipal. Actually, they am they are doing this tour right now, right now. So today they are playing. I mean tonight they are playing in Brooklyn, okay. And also I next to my awesome Arizona friends from uh, friends from gay, gay. Uh, I mean a gay creeper. By the way, these guys are so so much nice person. They are sweet guys for real. Good people, great music, sick music for real. Yeah, if you like death metal, watch them. If you like trash metal, watch, of course, my dudes from Music Boys and also Vigil. And if you like dead do metal, check it out, Nighthand. Okay, so let's talk about this. All right, let's see how we sound this together. All right, let's see. All right, so this is start like this. See, let me change the screen. Play pass. Okay. So when I'm mixing, I always like to be between minus six or minus three in the classic Pro Tools BU meter view. Okay. And uh, let's wait for the whole music coming up, okay? See, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's wait for it. That's cool. Let's see a little bit more input. Yeah. Let's wait for the whole music coming up. Yeah, that's cool. Let's see. Let me put my iPhone again. There it is. Cool. Now you will see in the screen what the hell I doing with, with the fusion first, okay? So it's input, the output in 12 o'clock, okay? So high pass filter on let's put in 40, okay? Now let's put a beta strike. Whoa! Now let's put a, this a little less. Yeah. Now let's play with the drive. I don't need too much for this. Yeah, that's cool there. Without. With. Yeah, you can feel it's more toasty. Yeah, you see, I have some peaks here or there. Oh, we we will to manage just this with a master pass, okay? I mean, with a master pass. By kills. Yeah, field is cool. No. Yeah, there is cool. Let's see. 12. 8. 8 sounds pretty cool. 16, no. 20, no. 8 sounds pretty cool. 12, 4. 12 is cool. Yeah. High frequency compressor. This is for getting a little roll off, like a like a tape, you know. So just over around 10k, the zero, 
super compressed. You don't need to get super crazy. Yeah, without check check out the, the top end. Without wait, yeah. So you see that the harshness is more rolled out. Now the set image. The low end more is the center, guys. In the sides. No fear of how the stereo image sound is. More transistor again, more color. Now let's see how these guys sound, okay? Insert. Now let's go play with this guy, okay? So, here, let's go. Oh my. Master bass, cool. I want the third harmonic distortion. I want the 150 for the sign chain. Yeah, I have the auto, auto release, full compressor. The way, way. Attack of Perry, Ray of 4.1, and then we are. Yeah, we are compressing pretty cool so far. Just a little bit. But we are going to clip it here in a master bus, you know, as you saw in the screen. So let me put this down for a little bit. Yeah. This is why I love the SSL, because the insert. So I got everything connected and for me it's way more easy to work that way. It's like a, you feel like a more in the console world, you know? Well, that's a little more. Yeah. Now let's see how it's on together with the... Ooh. Tape in the Just gonna have a full. Me personally, I like to use it a full color, okay? Because ah, I like it. <laughs> Nothing crazy there. So this is very IPS 15 IPS. Oh yeah, 15 sounds pretty cool. Uh, 30 sounds pretty cool too. 14, let's keep it in 15. Let me take this off. Uh, but you see, I kind of clip it here. So let's put this down. Uh, this is a, oh yeah, this is a saturation mode. Too much, too much toasty. Let's keep it in a healthy levels, okay? Still too much. Sick blue, pretty cool, right? Sick blue, like, uh, give you more the low end harmonics. This is without the that color. Let's go back to the the mid range. That give you the classic uh, mid sound. You know what? This is too much. Probably my output here. Yeah. There it is. Now let's see my, my meter in the master bus. I clip it still. There it is. Sounds powerful without clipping. That's a trick. Yep. Now let's check it out. How it sounds without the whole thing, okay? Ah. With all. 
my bus. Let's go back, okay? Let's go back this one more time. All right, so we got something pretty cool for starting the mix, you know, for starting to mix in the drums, the kick, the snare, the toms, the guitar, the bass, whatever, okay? So that, that's how I start the mix, okay, cool. When I have the pretty cool sound in the master bus, now I feel like a nice. Now this is how the record will sound at the end, just the close way, okay? This is a, this is give me the image how it will sound at the end, there it is. But, like I said though, on the beginning of this video, let me put this down a little bit. Why I love the insert? Because it's tend to, I, you can still do this. Put these guys before or after SSL with your patch paint, you know, how the fusion into a takeout, how to take it, take it out with your need, the uh, bus compressor, into the knee, you know, out the knee, go to protocols, you can do that too. But the insert is like a way more easier way to do it. So for example, that's how it sounds together. The whole thing, bypass, it's a day night. Day night, it sounds like a more, more like a record. But this is the sound without these guys. So you will, you, you're gonna listen right now how it sounds the fusion without these two guys. Instead of sounds cool, but you miss something. You miss the master bus and uh, tape. It, 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 it later, I mean, wait for it. What a difference. That's bypass all. Fusion back. Insert back. Okay. Now let's see. What is the pre Q? The, the, the pre Q is me. These two, you know, the, the master bass and the take a layer. When it's off, like a right now, is after the stereo image if I don't remember this well. Let me put back the iPhone. Okay, I will repeat this. So the e pre the pre q right here. So yeah, this is right here, okay? So these two processors are here. This if I plug it in by memory is after the high frequency compressor or after the flip but what if you put the press this guy this guy is not change the sound this is again bossy cue pre cue what does that mean now the master bus and uh, the emulator is after the major right and pre cue stage okay Listen carefully, because the difference is subtle but detail all at the same time. Like uh, people said, you know, the devil is in the details. This is a good example. Check it out. This is pre q Let's wait for the whole. There it is. Post-EQ. Pre. Oops, sorry. Okay, this is why 
these kind of like uh, insert points in the SSL fishing is so good because you can see and play because this will not sound the same for the whole session you have with the old bands you record and mix. No, this will change for every single session, for every single client, for every single artist, okay? So, so versatile because I can put these two guys, you know, before or after, and then the vibe change completely. You know, the vibe change, change super completely. And uh, remember, I have we have the the blue and also the red. So on 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 the new one, I told you, I totally forgot the name of the new one, but you will see the picture here. There, in that new uniform, Rupert and Avio, you have those both together. Because sometimes you want uh, the low end, you know, information like a little more richer. But for me so far, I prefer the red. You know, in all in all, almost my all mixes. I mean, but now let's see. Let's see the the mid side mode, okay? So for that, let me take it off this off Y off the the bass compressor because for that kind of thing I need. Okay, this compressor is a stereo, but I need like a dual stereo. This is just a stereo, but I can use the mid side point on this guy because it is two, so function as a stereo, but it's two mono. You know what I mean? So what does that mean? So on, on the mid side, I can use, for example, this guy for my mid information and this guy for my side information. And this will be pretty cool, for example, for mastering. Or even for mixes, you want to do like a something crazy, crazy here there. If you want to use it for my TK audio, for example, the TK, this compressor have to be like a dual mono compressor. And in that way, I can use it as a mid side, but well, Unfortunately, I don't have that kind of compressor in my hands yet, someday. But for now, I can show you how it's on the mid-side pro processing with the tape emulator, okay? So, wait a second. All right, mid-side processing right now. So, I turn off the TK because, like I told you before, I can't use that mode for TK audio, but I can use it for my Rupert Neef, okay? So, let's wait for it until the whole music comes in, okay? And then let me pull this again because I need to show you how it looks. How it looks. That's it. Right, you can see now on the screen what the hell is going on. Right, so that's in regular mode. This is on posi Q. Okay. So if I hold this button, then I turn blue. On blue is gonna be it's mean it's in mid side. So hold this. Blue, that's mid side. All right, now you will listen. Okay, it's still on the same. What do you, what do you hate it about? This guy, this is my mid information, this is my side information. Now pay attention to the side, okay? This is all the mid, this all the sides. <laughs> this is crazy. I love it. Now, just the mids. So crazy this. So let's put the saturation in the center. Center. Now let's. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Let's go back to here. Okay. Let's play with this and one more. So in this way now I can, for example, if it is a mastering, for example, okay. Now I can choose how much tape sound I want in my sides or in the mid information, okay? So I toasty the size right now. One just a little bit. Actually, the, all the center sounds cool like that. But now, because this is double mono, you know, I can put the, the center with the blue. Or no silk at all. Same here. I can put the, the sides with the low 
blue information or without. I can put the center on red, on the side nothing. Or I can put this blue, falling blue. Ah. So, I got endless, endless options. For example, I can put a 38 piece on the center or 38 piece on the sides. Let's go back to the center, I mean to the regular mode. Now it sounds completely weird. Oops, sorry. But I forgot I have this camera here. Okay. Change completely, right? This is this one more time. Mid side. Okay. Mid side, I want. Actually, I want the center blue. What happens if I put this processing before the Q? Let's see this one more time. It's so subtle, but it's there. Actually, I like it positive. But yeah, let me stop this. Now let me stop the sound. The sound should be cool, right? So do. And I'm pretty sure now you will understand why I like this. Why the SSL Fusion is so cool, you know? Why it's still relevant until today? Because I remember this came out in 2019, probably? Or early 2020? I don't remember the when, when, when was that release. It's going to be five years now. And then it's still relevant because this processing is one of the best in the market so so well done so clean because you need a clean processes to get this right and also the, the SSL guy is thinking to do this for mastering so that reason is so clean so serial clean to get the the right color for the other processes you know and I guess this is the best mid-side processing you will get for your all gear you have so if you have dual stuff or double mono like i have you can use it on the mid side immediately cool super easy right yeah and i hope you like this i hope you understand why i love the ssl and also the insert points and and also this make my mixes way more fluent sounds pretty cool and also i have pretty cool results like this and like i said don't forget to give me like to subscribe to share this to comment and yeah that's all bye guys see ya